Welcome back to the Press, Press Start Podcast. Um, I already stumbled. That's a great start. Um, I'm Ray Flea. You guys are watching the Press Start Podcast. And uh, it's been a few weeks since I've done this. Uh, I'll be honest, one of the weeks it was just because I was kind of lazy. And the other week I was on vacation. So, uh, But we're back. And we got uh, some we got some news, I guess. There's a lot to talk about because uh, Gamescom is currently going on. I think it's there's like one or two more days left. Um, so that'll pretty much be this week's uh, episode. I'll be kind of just discussing my thoughts of what I saw from Gamescom so far. And uh, I will say I'm not going to get too much into the news, really. Um, it's mainly just to be kind of quick thoughts and everything because uh, it's just easier and I did miss a lot of Gamescom stuff because I had to work uh, so everything that I've kind of seen is just kind of secondary videos and stuff like that uh, I did go and watch the Xbox press conference uh, a few days ago um, so I, I, I've seen that, but not everything else. Yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to be talking about. I, there's not going to be a second segment, um, just because I don't really know what to do for a second segment this week. And uh, it's I'm kind of tired today, and I have to do a few more things. I have to record a few more things, so I want to try to make this uh, as short as I can be. Um, but let's uh, let's get to it. So this will probably be out of order, and maybe confusing and stuff like that. But whatever. Uh, so Xbox had her uh, briefing. Was it yesterday? It might have been yesterday. I don't. I don't remember. Um. Well, yeah, today is the 7th of August. Uh, it's 12.50 a.m., so it's still really early on. Um, but yeah, so... Really, the only big uh, kind of console manufacturer at uh, Gamescom was Microsoft. Sony decided to attend uh, some... Uh, convention in Paris or something and Nintendo I think it is at Gamescom but not full force um, so it's pretty much just Microsoft show with like EA and Ubisoft and 2k kind of and Blizzard and all that uh, kind of rounding out the rest of the news um, so kind of a quick summary of Xbox's uh, press conference. They uh, touched on um, some of the things they announced on at E3, um, but for the most part, they kind of focused on games that weren't at E3 and kind of focused on their 2016 lineup. Um, and they showed off games like Scalebound, which was announced last E3 and we haven't seen anything from it since uh, but we got to see see gameplay of it and it, it looked good um, I mean I only saw like a two minute gameplay segment but uh, I mean I, Platinum Games is, is known for making er, some solid games some solid action games um, so I have trust in them uh, I think the mechanic of having a dragon and the guy have to beat headphones uh, is interesting. And I wonder how epic the fights will get because of that. Uh, but it looked fun, and it's exclusive to Xbox One, so... Uh, it's a game I'm going to keep my eye on a little bit more. Uh, odds are I'll probably, probably pick it up because it does look good. Uh, they also showed off some Crackdown 3 information, and 
we got like a little trailer that showed off kind of a little bit of the gameplay. Um, and it really focused on the destructibility in multiplayer. And pretty much everything is destructible. You can knock down skyscrapers and they'll kind of just basically funnel another building and that'll crumble down and maybe they'll knock down another building. It was really cool. I'm a, I'm a big pushover for uh, kind of stuff like that because I think it's really cool. Uh, but apparently it's only in multiplayer. I don't know if there's still destru destructibility in single player or not, but at the moment, just multiplayer. And yeah, I mean, I, I thought the game looked good. I thought it honestly looked better than I thought it was going to look when I saw it, so that's a good thing. Because I did, I played a little bit of Crackdown 1 uh, when it was free for games with gold and I think I played it for like three hours like in a in a just a three hour segment and I never touched it again uh, I thought it had some good elements but it was kind of boring also <laughs> uh, but I, I, I'm interested in Crackdown 3 uh, it says it's releasing summer 2016 which is a weird release date, but I'm perfectly fine with having it released in summer because that seems like a good time uh, for a game to go out. Like since, like it's summer right now and nothing's really out, so it seems like a good, good time to release something. And Scalebound is fall 2016, so. Uh. As two games for a 2016 lineup for Xbox One. Um, what else do we talk about? They announced Halo 2 War or Halo Wars 2. One of the two. Hey, yeah, Halo Wars 2, which is the RTS uh, Halo game. And uh, I, I haven't. I've played. I actually played a little bit. Of Halo Wars, I think I played like the demo or something, uh, but it was a long time ago. Um, I don't know. I don't really have much opinions on that. It's cool that there's me RTS and console, but I don't really have much else to say. Uh. Quantum Break. That's right. They showed off. Uh, some more Quantum Break gameplay, and uh, I thought this was the best showing the game's had so far. Uh, the gameplay looks really good. Um, it's, the story seems interesting. And they finally kind of re-revealed kind of the live-action show part. Um, and they changed the character models and everything to match the actors. Since we got uh, some, I guess... Fairly prominent actors um, to start in the show, so it should be interesting to see how that turns out. Uh, I believe the release date was April 4th. April 5th of 2016, so springtime, that seems a good time to release that. Um, but yeah, I thought it had a good showing. It looked, it looked good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick it up for sure. Uh, they also showed off some Tomb Raider gameplay, and I've been one of, I've been pretty down on Tomb Raider just because I haven't seen much of it. I and I, I've always, I've been on the bandwagon of saying it's gonna be delayed, but it's still not delayed, and we're this late. We're already in August, but. I still think it's going to be delayed, maybe at least a few weeks or something. Um, but yeah, I thought it looked, good. it looked like Tomb Raider, the 2013 game. It pretty much looked like that, but shinier graphics and all that. And I'm perfectly down with that. Um, it looked good. Uh, it definitely kind of turned my opinion of that game, because I, I, like I said, I've been kind of sour on the game, but... 
Uh, I thought it looked good. I was still going to pick it up either way because I knew it was going to be a solid game, but I'm glad it had a good showing. Uh, but I don't know if it should release the same day as Fallout 4. <laughs> that seems like a bad thing. So other than that, uh, I showed off just a few other games like they showed off, uh, what's it called? Homefront Re Revolution, they kind of re-revealed that, and that had an interesting trailer. I don't think it showed off any gameplay, um, but I, I definitely like kind of the, the story and theme that game is going for. It's, I'm, it has like, it feels like it's heavily influenced by Far Cry, but just in an urban setting. And like this weird alternate history thing. Um, so I I think the game looks good. I'm I'm I want to see more of it for sure. Um, I know they. Oh yeah, I totally yeah. I was just say there's one other like third party game that I wanted to make sure I talked about, and it was uh, Dark Souls Three. Uh, the first gameplay kind of trailer they showed off, and uh, it was cool. I'm excited. Uh, seeing actual gameplay, just from seeing some of the gameplay, and like I saw, I watched like two minutes of somebody playing the game. Um, feels like the basic gameplay is slightly quicker than Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls. It feels like it's a uh, in between Bloodborne and Dark Souls 2 as far as the speed is. Um, but the game. Is I, I I feel it definitely feels like it's gonna be a kind of a direct sequel to Dark Souls One, which should be interesting. And just from the trailer, I was really stoked stoked for, from what I saw. Um, the battle stances or whatever we're calling that look cool. The bosses look tough as hell. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm excited. I don't know what else to say. I'm looking forward to it. I kind of wish they would have shown off a different area because it kind of looks very similar to a lot of like just a lot of stuff in Dark Souls One at the beginning. So it kind of like kind of drab, um, but I'm sure we'll see different areas later on. Probably see more at TGS too. So I thought it looked good. I'm. Very excited for that. It's going to be one of my more anticipated games for 2016. It's coming out early 2016, too, so. I'm guessing March, like the rest of the Souls games and Bloodborne have been released in. Um, yeah. So I think that pretty much wraps up uh, the Xbox conference from what I remember. Um, so we're going to touch on the rest of the news. Uh, it should be too much more. Star Wars Battlefront uh, revealed their fighter squadron mode, which is basically just kind of space combat uh, where you can fly around and tie fighters and X-wings and stuff. And you can fly in the Millennium Falcon, Falcon too. Uh, just another mode for multiplayer. I'm already going to get Battlefront because I just want some kind of Star Wars game before The Force Awakens. Uh, but I'm happy that they have kind of space combat because I kind of want to have that. Um, I've heard some not so great opinions and thoughts on it, but I'm, I'll probably still try it out when I pick up the game. But it's cool they actually include that because they didn't I think there's some issue where they didn't have space combat, even though Battlefront 2 had space combat and all that, but they got some kind of f combat, air combat, <laughs> at the very least. Uh, Mafia 3, the first kind of uh, trailer and gameplay was shown off. And I think I played a Mafia 2 demo, or Mafia, yeah, probably Mafia 2. 
Um, and it was okay. Um, but I, I, I liked what I saw. It kind of, it seems like a Mafia GTA game. And I'm perfectly fine with that since we're not going to have any kind of GTA style games until probably Watch Dogs 2 or something. Or this game. Um, I, I, I don't, I've only seen like screenshots and I saw like a 15 second clip of the game. Uh, but it looked good and it's set during like 68, 1968, which is a very, there's a time period of nobody, I, I mean, that's not really used much. Um, so that's, I think that's cool. I like the time period. I like the idea and, uh, it seems like it's got some potential and it's coming out next year. So I am excited to see more. I think it's been my, my saying today. I'm excited to see more. Uh, what else was there? Oh man, it just had in my head, but I forgot it. Um, what was I just about to talk about? Oh yeah, Final Fantasy 15 uh, had a trailer that was focused on the story, and I thought it was a bad trailer. Everybody else loved it, but I was like, nothing happened in that trailer to explain anything. Uh, I get it was trying to be emotional, but it didn't explain anything. Um, but some details were kind of revealed about the game and its release date. And there's rumors that it's going to, might not come out next year. It might be 2017, but the, the lead, the director, I think the lead director, whatever, um, said he expects it to come out in 2016 and they are kind of already know the release date of the game but they're not ready to reveal it so maybe they'll reveal it at TGS um, but I hope this game comes out sooner rather than later because it's been one of my more anticipated games uh, for at least since it's re-reveal at E3 and all that because I played episode Disky, Disque, whatever it's called and I really liked it. I thought the gameplay was good at that point. Um, and it is, I'm just really excited for this game. I'm hoping it comes out, like I said, sooner rather than later. And they said the game's 65% done. And last year they said the game was like 55, 60% done. So I don't know what happened to just make it only progress 10% in a year. But we're going to have to ramp it up. Quite a bit in the next year to get it out, but I think they, I think they will. Um, and I, I, I think it's probably gonna be, it's probably gonna be a fall game next year, but, but what can you do? <laughs> so, yeah, so 2016, uh, kind of release window for. Final Fantasy 15. Um, World of Warcraft's uh, sixth expansion was announced. It adds a Demon Hunter class. And it's called... Uh, it's called Legion. And I don't know anything about this. I didn't read anything on it, but they announced it. Um, I heard, I think WoW's subscriber numbers have dropped quite a bit. Um, so we need something big to kind of bring everybody back in. And people seem excited from what I, I kind of gathered, uh, from this announcement. So maybe this will help bring some of those people back. Um, we'll have to see. I don't think they gave a release window. I'm guessing probably like late spring 2016, summer, 
Because that's usually when MMOs release expansions and stuff. Uh, but other than that, there's some more Assassin's Creed uh, gameplay shown and a trailer. Uh, I watched the gameplay and I was actually, I was kind of, I wouldn't say impressed, but I was, what is the word I'm looking for? I was uh, happy with what I saw. Um, after kind of a really disappointing E3 showing where we didn't really show anything, um, the gameplay I saw was with, uh, Eevee, and, uh, I feel like they kind of did improve the overall gameplay and stuff. Um, and maybe the story will be good, but I just, I, I liked what I saw. Uh, we'll see if it turns out like what I saw. Um, but it's probably the best showing I've seen of the game since it's been revealed. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I like what I saw. I don't know what else to say. I'm going to pick up the game, but like I said, this is the least excited I've been for Assassin's Creed game, but I'm still looking forward to it. Uh, am I going to miss anything else? Metal Gear Solid Five that looked good. It's coming out. In less than a month, I'm actually really excited to, to play that game because I haven't played a new game since Batman, and nothing's really grabbed me uh, besides Persona 4 and Fire Emblem Awakening lately. So, and it's kind of the game I really want. It's like a type, kind of it's it's this type of game I really want to play right now, like a open world kind of action sandboxy game that has stealth elements um it's very specific but i've been in a mood for that so that game kind of fits it perfectly um so i, I am really excited because it's what i kind of want to play right now um and it seems like there's a whole bunch of content for that game even though uh middle gear online was delayed a few months and stuff like that but I probably wouldn't have played much around with that. Um, so yeah, it's coming out September 1st. I'm excited. Um, anything else? I'm trying to not fall asleep right now. That's how bad it is right now. I am like straining my eyes. I'm kind of sick of t talking too. Just Cause 3 still looks like dumb fun. Uh, I don't really have anything else to say on that. Um, Sony... I'm uh, not Sony. <laughs> uh, Game Informer revealed their new cover story. It was the Destiny of a Taken King. And there's a lot of information revealed on that. And they got rid of, rid of Dinklebot. Or Dinklebot, whatever it's called. Um, yeah, Dinkle. Yeah, Dinklebot. I replaced him with Nolan North uh, as a voice actor, so that's kind of funny. I thought I would mention that. Uh, looking through this, I don't see anything that I missed. No, I think that's pretty much all that's worth mentioning. I've probably forgot a few things, but what can you do? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll check through some of our news, see if I did miss anything big. Oh, yeah, the Time Magazine cover, that thing's funny as hell. Oh my god, people have like photoshopped in so many things, it's pretty hilarious. Uh, Fallout 4 won't have a level cap, and uh, you, the game doesn't stop after you beat the main story. I think people were concerned or angry about something. I, I guess I missed it. Uh, but whatever. <laughs> I'm excited for Fallout 4, of course. Uh, 
Uh, I don't think I missed anything really. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I think that's pretty much it. So, a pretty short episode, but like I said, I'm kind of tired. And, uh. Yeah, so next week, I'll get back to kind of the regular segment. Um, I'm sure we'll still have a little bit of news to cover. Probably the rest of Gamescom, since it's still a few more days left of that. Um, so, next week shouldn't be too bad. Uh, and I'll think of something to talk about for the second segment. Um, yeah, so that's been Press Start Podcast. I've been Marie Flea. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.